watching me. <laughs> Timmy, did you watch a movie last night? No. <laughs> what did you do? This is my giant flying rectangle. But first, here's a quick backstory. Back when I was a small YouTuber, one of my first fans was this guy, and I remember seeing his videos where he used a whole unmodified sheet of foam board as a wing. And I had thought about doing something like that every time I'd go and pick up some foam board from the store. I thought I could make it even more simple and just not have the fuselage. So I just put a motor on the front and elevons and a vertical stabilizer on the back. Elevons are a mix of an elevator and ailerons. They move in the same direction for pitch and in opposite directions for roll. In fact, this plane was my first Reddit post about a year ago. I later mentioned this plane in my engineered mini flying wing video because I was about to dump a whole load of complicated aerodynamics design and optimization and I didn't really want to discourage people from scratch building things without having a team of engineering students. I love this plane because it takes commonly taught aerodynamics and says not today, please tell me about how lift works using the equal transit theory as I glide my non-existent airfoil around inverted. With RC stuff all you need is wing surface area that balances in the right spot. Power and control surfaces help too. I later made a video about how to make it, and after that, several people shared with me that they made one too, because of that video. Even my high school chemistry teacher's kids made one. That's so cool! I recently revisited it with a quick video flying it with FPV gear and some sweet follow footage. And as it turns out, they sell rectangular sheets of foam in other sizes too. So I got this 8 foot by 4 foot sheet of insulation foam from Home Depot. For power, I'm using this huge Emax GT5335 200 kV motor, spinning a 23-inch propeller. The biggest propeller I've worked with previously is the 16-inch propeller used on my flying chainsaw. The motor is controlled by a 150 amp high voltage ESC, and the battery is this 4000 milliamp hour 10S LiPo. Holy crap, huh? And since the ESCs at this scale don't have 5 volt output, I also got this 20 amp switch mode BEC to power the biggest servos that I could find. I designed my own giant control horns and cut them out with a laser. And I attached the elevons with freaking metal hinges. I also designed this giant motor mount in Rhino and I cut out all the pieces with the laser. I glued that assembly together and bolted it through the foam to another plate underneath. All the foam was cut using this crappy knife that I heated up with a propane torch. As expected, this plane is a really hard shape to balance. It would be much easier to balance if you swept the leading edge back, but then it wouldn't be a rectangle. So I replaced the elevons with foam that was lighter weight, and I strapped some stocks of steel up to the leading edge. Incorrect balance is the number one cause of scratch build failure. It's just so unintuitive and basically completely responsible for how well the airplane flies. In order to transport this thing to a place where I could fly, I had to borrow my housemate's truck and trailer. I was going to just hand launch it, but I really didn't want to risk breaking my $30 propeller on landing, so I made this simple landing gear thing with a wagon wheel. It also helped with the CG though. It's spinning too fast. Yeah. What do you think of it, Carly?
<laughs> oh good, my prop's not, uh, well. not broken. Just my wheel popped off. Oh, is your quad still on? Let me uh, start recording this again. <laughs> oh, your antenna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I leave a Oh, that, yeah, that antenna's probably done, huh? <laughs> that should probably survive. Let's make it spin the other way. Better. What's that noise? That's probably servos just kind of trying to hold the position. It's okay, servos. You can do it. My camera's spinning in my spot. I want to say a special thanks to my patrons on Patreon. Over the course of several months, they have provided the funds to buy this big motor and battery and stuff. One of my patrons mentioned that he found my Patreon by accident and suggested that I let everyone know that I have one. So I'm not begging for anything, but it, it exists. So there. Anyways, thanks for watching and bye. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty.